All right, finished up the old day job. We got two hours of sunlight left. So we're cruising the neighborhood looking for a place to paint. Yeah, and we love the buildings in this particular strip. The houses are so pretty at this time of night with the light. Whoa. Whoa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the houses in this particular part of the neighborhood are so pretty with this, with this time of light, but the shadows move so quick. So we're gonna see if we can find a spot here. But if all else fails, we're heading to the park, which is just down the road, and hopefully get a little bit more kind of leeway with the, when the sun goes down, just painting greens trying, versus trying to attack, you know, a uh, complicated a structure. Structure. Complicated structure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, should be fun. Find our spot soon, hopefully, yeah. or we might just walk around all night until the sun goes down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that exactly. Also happens. Because it's gonna go in ten minutes. <laughs> go for this I really like um, just kind of this exact time of day which is also just so um, uh, risky because the Sun is setting so quickly that all of those shadows are gonna be I'm just gonna be chasing the shadows but I'm gonna try and just sketch them in really fast and just go with that first drawing but I like that it's this nice kind of clean white um, London style house behind this tree it's gonna, we're doing a square composition, so I feel like this is set up nicely for like a quaint square composition. Um, and it's kind of one of those times where we're just losing light, so you kind of just have to make a choice. So I like this shot, and Nate's looking to go down the road a little bit. So I feel like if we just, if we just get to it, stick with our plan of just keeping it simple, um, going with like first vibe, not getting crazy with perfect drawing or anything like that and just trying to capture the color that's happening right now I think we'll be safe if we just stick with that goal um, but you just have to think about that the entire time because you get wrapped up in all the detail and suddenly the whole thing is shaded by the tree and you weren't even expecting it so um, yes and I think this is for me this is a great challenge because I see white but if I just were to grab white and paint white then it wouldn't have the glow of the sun so I'm it's got great practice with warm whites cool whites and that cool blue shadow and kind of more yellows pushing the yellow in the white I think is going to be what I'm going to try and do so that it really feels like the afternoon sun is setting um, across the street so what's your so what's your approach to painting something that is changing quickly what do you start with first well, what do you still, save yeah it's still something honestly I I'm still figuring out every single time we come out I feel like I kind of start a different way so um, obviously getting the gestural drawing in there of generally where kind of big shapes are not detail absolutely not but really where let's say for, for example this particular one I definitely would want to kind of sketch in a little bit where the windows are placed where my wall is, the general house, and kind of the clump of the tree. And then from there, it's really figuring out what's gonna change the, the quickest if you just kind of give yourself a minute to think about, all right, if I'm looking at this, sun's going down over there. Already I've lost the sun that's on the brick wall, so I know that shadow is only gonna be creeping up the house. So what I'm gonna try and do is quickly get in just the general darkness of the windows, just a blue, just sketch them in, so that I can immediately get to that sunny bit that's around the door and the bottom part of the house because my sun at the top of the house will stay the longest. It's the bottom bit that I think I'm gonna lose the quickest as that shadow just kind of creeps up. So it's thinking about those things um, and it's also just getting right to your focal point versus going, I'm gonna get over here first and kind of make sure this is right and make sure my drawing's perfect over here and kind of sketching the things around it. It's, it's what is the point of this? You have a half an hour to get it done. Get that focal point in there. Get the, get the reason behind the painting kind of already happening and then everything else is just extra.
Yeah, you know the uh, in, in where you live is that's where that Earth Steve McQueen done the film. Bullets. That's, that's, that's right, I know. Right there. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. totally. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh you know, just a little, little painting. Oh right. Hi. It's cool. Hello. Hey sir. So, what are you thinking? Okay. So, I, I think this is the time just to call it done. I mean, it's getting pretty dark, so <laughs> you kind of can't do anything else to it. But, I mean, there was a point there where I just thought, okay, well, this is just going to get scrapped. Um, hopefully you'll come up with a good painting out of this, because it was so rushed. But I tried, to, I tried to just think about the words that I said at the beginning and try to get the stuff in there that I knew was changing the fastest. So once I kind of sketched the shadows in, I really tried to keep, to get as much of this warmth in as, as I could, this light bit right here, because it was going so fast. But yeah, ultimately this was just another, another type of experience. It was a quick one. We got in what we could and we had a bunch of people come up and they were all just super sweet and super great we met the guy who's lived here his entire life um, across the street and met his mom and uh, so it was just a it was this is also what it is with, with plain air painting you get out and about and I mean people want to come over and see what you're doing so you end up like meeting people and it's cool doing that in a new place or halfway across the world where you know you're just kind of hearing everybody's new you know accents and things mm -hmm. like that and like it's it was fun. It was fun. So, you know, you always bring something back and a lot of times it's just, it just feels good to get out and just do what you can and just try and just take in the whole experience. And I think yeah. that's, that's what it is. That's what it's also about, you know? So yeah, it was great. All right, so we're back in the studio. Just want to say a few things about this tiny little painting. Um, my approach to this one was different from my approach to my normal paintings where I had to work from light to dark with this one. And usually I work from dark to light just to establish my values. I have to put the darkest stuff in first and then I can see everything else. But since the light was changing so quickly, I had to get the buildings in first I essentially everything that was changing, I had to put that in just as quick as I can, roughly, um, and then work back to the darks and kind of find that middle tone in there. You know, ultimately it was just about getting getting the gesture, getting the idea, trying to get the feeling of, of that particular day, that particular evening, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so there are some things that I'd like to, once it's dry, go back in and just kind of punch up a little bit. There's, right. I like to kind of add a little variation to the roofs they're all the same right now. And I remember when I was out there, I just liked how different the roofs were. Like each one was a little bit mm -hmm. different tone. Um, and not go crazy, but just add a little bit more character to the roofs and a little yeah. bit more character to the buildings. Maybe make one a little bit different color because they're essentially all different colors out there. Um, shades of brick. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then there's some areas I'd like to tighten up down here. Just not crazy, but just like, you know, mm -hmm. tighten up a few mm -hmm. spots just to kind of bring it up to the yeah. level that I am happy with right now. It's just a little below mm -hmm. and I rarely um, mm -hmm. finish a whole painting in one session outside. I usually bring it inside and, and see it in different light, right. be able to step away from it and go, okay, what does this need to be a complete painting? Right. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a combination of, of, of getting the energy in while you're outside, get the energy of the painting in there, try to get the colors as accurate as possible, bring it inside and then just kind of, when you have a little bit more control of your environment, mm -hmm. do the things you want to do to it to bring it up to that level where you're just like, cool, right. this is this works as right. is. You, it, you can call it complete. You yeah. know, you can look at it and look at it compared to maybe some other works that you have and go, yes, this one is as finished now as these yeah. potentially. Yeah. Um, but it is about, you know, not completely 
taking away uh, everything that you were able to create out there because there's a spontaneity with brush marks I think that happen when you're out plein air painting versus in the studio when you have no time versus all the time in the world you know get it in quick I have hours to noodle yeah. you know so it's a matter of trying to kind of at least for me it's saving some of that and then really not and, and kind of getting giving yourself a list of like here's what really needs to happen versus here's what I could do to uh -huh. it you know and just kind of try and keep it is what it is what it is and just finish up whatever that is because that painting is just as you know special as these others it needs to just kind of have its own journey not be forced into another direction totally. you know and just kind of button it up and say yep that's it it's a complete little thing that happened in an hour and a half while i was outside on a friday night yep done yeah exactly that's you the know? story of that particular evening right. on that block